All right, now we're doing 8Q, find multiples of a number. This is by Spherixo, and 93% of the people like it. In this simple exercise, we will build a program that takes a value integer and return, that will take the value integer and returns a list of its multiples up to another value limit. If limit is a multiple of integer, it should be included as well. There will only ever be positive integers passed into the function not consisting of zero. The limit will always be higher than the base. For example, if the parameters are passed in are two and six, the function should return two, four, and six, as two, four, and six are the multiples of two up to six. If you can, try writing it in one line of code. Oh yeah, that's what we're gonna do. All right, so with this one, uh, first off, we're gonna have to turn, we're gonna have to return an array, and since there's no array here, we have to make one, right? So that's what we're gonna use this array.from for. The array.from uh, static method creates a new shallow copied array instance from an array-like or iterable object, all right? And the syntax, excuse me, the syntax we're gonna use is something like, uh, what is it going to be? It's going to be one of these. It's going to be one of these maps right here, or, or this map function right here. It's going to be one of the two, uh, probably this one, and I'll show you why. But let's let's get started real quick before we get into all that. Uh, first, we're going to say return, of course, and then we're going to say uh, what are we going to do? We're going to say array dot from, like we said, dot from, and with this, we're going to get the first. Uh, pardon me. The first thing we need is the array-like thing, right? So we're going to make an array-like thing by doing this with the little curly braces. And we're going to say length, colon. And on that, we're going to say parse. Well, first, OK, we're going to say parse int. And with that, we're going to say limit divided by integer. So limit divided by integer. Pardon me. And we do that. Okay, number one, here's parse int. So the parse int, int function parses a string argument and returns an integer of the specified radix, right? And since we're just going to use base 10, uh, it's just the, uh, what am I trying to say? It's the, I guess, the default radix, I guess, something like that. Uh, anyway, that being said, so let's say uh, the limit is 10, excuse me, 10, and the integer is 5. So Limit divided by integer would be 2, so there would be 5, 10, right? So there would be two elements in the array. And if it was uh, the limit was 11, it would be 11 divided by 5. So that would be like uh, 2 point, you know, some numbers, right? And so since it's just parsing an integer, it's just giving us an integer, it'll just give us the, the 10 also, excuse me, the 2 also. Uh, so it'll be 1, 2, you know, 2, 2, uh, elements in the array. All right. So that being said, that's the first part of the array dot from. And the second, we're going to do a map function. And we're going to do this map function. And I'll show you uh, what the map is if you don't know. So the map method creates a new array populated with the results of calling a provided function on every element in the calling array. So this example here, here's array one and uh, array one dot map would be x and then the function uh, arrow function x times 2. So when 1 is x, x times 2, it'll pop out 2. 4 times 2 is 8. 9 times 2, 18. 16 times 2, 32. And you see that's what happens. All right. That being said, here's the different syntaxes we can use for it. And specifically this here, uh, we're going to be using the element and the index syntax. All right. That And also that being said, now that we've got the array like object now we do comma because like i said comma and then a map function and so we're going to do that array index so excuse me we're going to be doing the element index and since we don't need the, the element the element is always a variable uh we're just going to put an underscore just to uh signify that we don't even that it's just going to be ignored and then we're going to have index as the second uh, argument. All right, so we're gonna do arrow function. 
And we're going to say, uh, what are we going to say? We're going to say index, index plus one, because as we know, the first index is always zero. So this would be zero here. Excuse me. Yeah, this would be zero here. So we want to do index plus one. So index plus one, wrap them in, oops, wrap them in these, and then, oops, and then multiply it by uh, the integer, all right? Integer, all right? So in the case where we said uh, the integer was five and the limit was 10, so it would be index plus one of this array that we just made would be zero plus one, so it would be one times the integer five. And then the next one would be two, because it would be index, which would be the index one, which is, this one's one right here, of course, plus one, which may, would make it two times integer, which would make it 10. So we'd have two. We'd have five, 10, just like that. Hopefully this works. Let's see. And it worked awesome. So we're gonna attempt it. Hopefully it still works and it works again awesome. That wasn't too bad, was it? All right, so my solutions, just me, best practice, that's what I think, and uh, very like it, and we'll see you next time.